We finished the 1 o'clock games. Let's move on to the afternoon games, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern. Minnesota Vikings at Arizona Cardinal State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. We start with the market here for Vikes Cardinals. Cardinals opened up as four and a half point favorites, but that four and a half was at a plus one one. It's now to minus one hundred three, so a four cent move towards Cardinals. This total sitting at fifty one. There's been a one cent move to the over. Let's see here. We have five thousand three hundred thirty three tickets in. Seventy percent of the tickets, ninety one percent of the cash on the Cardinals, and then we don't know the cash for the total at this point, but we know that sixty three percent of the tickets are on this over. Uh, Vikings did not look good in their season opening 24 or 27 24 loss at Cincinnati. Three false starts on their opening drive, four penalties on their first eight plays. Uh, Kirk Cousins did have a strong game 36 of 49, 351 yards and two touchdowns. A uh, Thielen, uh, as was dropped by a couple different cappers in the chat, and one of them was adamant on Sunday. And I, my, the name's escaping me right now, but one of our guys was adamant to take Thielen anytime touchdown. And I wish I had of nine catches for 92 yards, two touchdowns. Jeff, uh, Justin Jefferson caught five passes for 71 yards. KJ Osborne, fifth round pick out of Miami, got his career off to a great start. Seven catches for 76 yards. Dalvin Cook did not. 20 carries for 61 yards, one very costly fumble in overtime that set Cincy up for the winning drive. He did catch six passes for 43 yards, and Brashad Breeland looked terrible. I mean, he just looked exposed on the, in the secondary nonstop throughout the game. Uh, but they did get five sacks on Burrow, led by uh, Pierce's two. Cardinals are coming off a dominant 38-13 win at Tennessee. Wow. I mean, it was just stop everything you're doing and, and look at how good this team looks. Kyler Murray, 21 for 32, 289 yards, four touchdowns, one interception. DeAndre Hopkins, six catches for 83 yards. Christian Kirk, five catches for 70 yards. Chase Edmonds looked so good. And the one-two punch of him and Connor works. He ran 12 times for 63 yards. He caught four passes for 43 yards. Uh, Kyler didn't have to put himself at risk because the playmakers were doing their job and the offensive line was protecting him. Chandler Jones had five sacks. Five. God, I'm trying to get an extension. Maybe he gets one now. Uh, Dennis Garcia says Arizona is a tad cheap. Arizona is a tad cheap at minus four and a half. Bebzy, what say you? Take it away. Uh, look, I, I'm, I'm not going to let one game sell me on the cards. Uh, not ready to, to get off that hill. Uh, I still – look, I, I don't think the Vikings are going to pose much of a threat to them. They should still do just fine. But, look, they, th that defense was pummeling early and often. Like, the Tannehill had no time to do anything. So I don't think that happened. We're not going to see a five sack performance from Chandler Jones a second time this week. Uh, I, I think I, there's something off putting about that start. Um, I hated that it was so handily won by Arizona because Kyler Murray didn't need to run at all. And therefore my rush prop didn't catch, but uh, I, I don't know. I have so much apprehension about this game um the vikings looked way worse than i expected the cards looked way better than i expected um I, i'm get, i'm gonna take a breath on both of these teams uh minnesota started horrible last year as well um so gonna take a nice little breath and and just let these two teams duke it out see what happens watch them learn a little bit more about them before i make any moves on and Slatsy saying it was Sharpie on the Thielen TD prop. And uh, Sharpie, by the way, started the, the season 21 and 7. That's how hot he is right now and just handing out winners for all of us and asking nothing in return. I get it. I get why you're hesitant here. Burgundy Bet says, Jimmy, this game will be Cardinals minus 6.5 or worse by kickoff. If you're, you're going to back Arizona, get them now. If you believe in trap games, stay away. Very, very, very interesting. Uh, Schnizzle says, I can never figure out the Vikings. I'd love to hear what our man Clint, star of the Die Hard MMA podcast, thinks about his Vikings. Uh, J-Dub says, Vikings take the points, field goal. It says, Vikings take the points, field goal type of game. Slatsy says, I can't stand Vikings coach, quarterback. Let's see, brutal Vikes, offensive line stop, Jones. Cards roll in the desert. Cards team total over 28 and a half and full game. Public side, and I am Mr. Public on this one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, clearly I I get I get why you're I get why you're staying off at this point. Uh 
what do you think of this total here? Do you trust Arizona to keep racking up points? I, I don't trust Arizona to do anything at all because I don't trust Cliff Kingsbury. He's never given anybody any reason to trust him. So, yeah, I, I think this could be a slog. Um, I, I think this could be both teams, one team playing better than they did last week, one team coming back down to earth a little bit. Um, both teams are certainly capable of putting up points, but I, I'm, I'm staying off this game. I have a bad feeling about it. I, I, you know, I had an awful read on the cards week one, so it's another look for me this week. The Vikings are. I wouldn't say I had an awful read on them. I just I think they will be slightly better than they were. Interesting, interesting breakdown. I'm going to need more time for Vikings Cardinals too because it does feel like a possible overreaction, or maybe Cardinals are that good. Uh, only time will tell. Right now, though, sitting at four and a half points, 